Therefore, Harding must have put my pack here. It makes sense. Better place to sleep than the infirmary. Guess I can spare a few moments to unpack my things. Barrick and his life lessons. I asked him how we were supposed to stop Solus, and he gave me this. Take a long, hard look at it, kid. It'll always show the face of a hero who can get it done. A damn good looking hero, if I do say so. Every time I look at this, I can hear that little girl thanking me for saving her village from Darkspawn. She said that since the Grey Wardens didn't have griffins anymore, I could have hers. If I hadn't been there, I'd never have met Varric. And never had to deal with the First Warden complaining I ignored orders. Yeah, it doesn't matter what the First Warden thinks. There's a little girl alive today because I attacked instead of waiting for reinforcements. The peddler gave me this after I saved his caravan from bandits. He told me nobles think of ruling like a game of chess, that each move determined what mark humanity will leave on the world. He had fancy silks from Orlais, statuettes from the wilds down south. I could have listened to stories all night about places he'd been. Now I'm getting to see some of those places myself. Meditation upon the use of blades. Must have read this thing cover to cover a dozen times during weapons training. The number of times I banged my head against this book trying to make the concepts work. But that training has kept me alive so far. Right. That's better. Now, how do I connect to Solus? Just sleep? Oh, relaxing. Maybe if I clear my mind. Back so soon. It must have been worse than I had thought. Hello, Dreadwolf. Ah, but perhaps I am mistaken. You may be here to correct me, to tell me that my concerns were unfounded. Perhaps nothing escaped as you stopped me from... What was it? Covering the world with demons? I'm not here to debate whether what you said was accurate. But to be clear, it was accurate. I need to know what the gods are planning. You are asking for knowledge no mortal in this world is privy to. If I am to share it with you, I need to know what makes you the right person to lead the fight against Algernon and Gelanane. Someone has to do something. I may not be the right person for this job, but I'm the only one left. So, your call to action is that any attempt is better than none? Back in the Grey Wardens, I was with a group of recruits outside this village, dealing with the Darkspawn incursion. Our orders were to wait for reinforcements, but we knew that by the time they arrived, everyone in that village would be dead. So, you led your team of recruits in any way, collapsing the tunnel and saving the village. How do you know that? You helped Varric pursue me for the better part of a year. It would have been foolish not to learn about who was hunting me. Then you know that if someone has to make a call, I'll do it. I suppose I was not so different when I started. 
Started what? My rebellion against the Evanuris. The Elven Gods, as you call them. They wish to reclaim their dominion over this world. To accomplish that, they will need two things. First, the Blight. What exists in this world is a bare fragment of its power. The rest is imprisoned. Until they release it. The rest of the Blight is imprisoned? There's more than what's in the world already? Yes. Centuries ago, the Magisters of Devinter opened my prison. A tiny fragment of the Blight escaped. That fragment grew beneath the earth and led to the Blights that have swept across the world. However terrible the Blight is now, it is a mere fraction of what we will see if its full power is unleashed. I don't understand. Elginan and Gilanain were elves like you, right? Why would they want to blight the world? It is my fault. As the Dread Wolf, I was a thorn in their side. When my efforts weakened their grasp on the elven people, they grew frustrated, then desperate. And turned to the Blight. Once the corruption took hold of them, they were blind to its horror. It was just another source of power for them. Now they would blight the world without hesitation, and call us backward and foolish for opposing them. The Blight didn't escape with the gods? Elganan and Gelanane escaped largely empty-handed, fortunately. Most of the Blight is still trapped in the prison I created ages ago. So what we saw at that village, that's them not at full strength? Correct. What would they need to do to free the Blight? And how do we stop them from doing it? They will need to pierce the veil to reach the Blight's prison. My Lyrium Dagger is one of the few artifacts capable of doing so. We've already recovered it from the ritual site. Excellent. Then they will have to make their own. That will give you time. You said the gods needed two things, and the Blight is the first. What's the second? Followers. They have called themselves gods. And what is a god without worshippers to sing their praises? You think they want the elves back? I don't think the elven people will bend a knee to blighted murderous monsters. Agreed. Algernon and Gilanane care little for the elves. They will find worshippers among those hungry for power. Tyrants and bullies. The cruel and the corrupt, who fear their own vulnerability and seize any chance to feel strong. If you hunt them, they will lead you to Algernon and Gilanane. I came here for specifics, not fortune-telling. I would tell you more were I not currently in prison thanks to your actions. Fine. I'll go kick the trees and see what falls out. The Veravas, the Lighthouse Saluvian, can take you anywhere, if you master its secrets. Have you done so? Not yet, but we've got one of the Veil Jumpers working on it. She'll get it sorted, and we'll see how it goes. Yes, I suppose we will. And when you speak with Varric, please tell him that I regret what happened.
So Solus told the truth about the gods. You heard. It's bad, Varric. If you'd seen Demeter's crossing... The team needs to act fast. And it can't do that with me leading from a bed. You've got to take point on this. I'll get it done. I never doubted it. Harding might. Rook, when I put this team together, what did I look for? A detective to find the Dreadwolf, and a scout to get us the lay of the land. Exactly the people he'd expect me to recruit. Disciplined. Predictable. And then there's you. Remember when we first met, kid? I watched you lead a few misfit recruits and push back one of the biggest darkspawn hordes I've ever seen. Just needed to find the right strategy. And no other warden found it. You stopped that horde. Had to drop a town hall on it, but you've got a knack, kid. For what? Finding a way through the wildest shit I've ever seen. With a plan that no one expects. On the best day of his life, Solus wouldn't see you coming, Rook. And don't worry. I'll still be here to talk if you need me. There is something. Demeter's crossing was awful. While we were there, we found one survivor, the mayor. You sent him to the wardens, right? Not everyone was happy about my decision. We're just starting out and I'm already losing their trust. The key to earning the team's trust isn't to only make decisions everyone agrees with. It's showing the team that they can tell you whatever's on their mind, even if they think you're full of crap. And know you'll listen. When I took over at the ritual site, I had to make a call on who came with me to knock over that statue. It was the first decision I made leading this team, and Harding got hurt because of it. You made a decision with the best information you had. Sometimes you do that, and people end up hurt. Or worse. What would you have done? What would I have done? Probably gotten myself killed and failed to stop the ritual if you hadn't stepped in. A good leader isn't someone who never makes mistakes. It's someone who admits when they make one. That's how you earn their trust. Did Nev tell you about me talking to Solus in the Fade? I had some good arguments with Chuckles back in the day. I can't imagine being stuck with him in my head. But how are you feeling about it? He's the god of lies, and he's inside my head, Varric. How do you think I feel about that? Fair enough. But Nev's a great mage. If you need her to whip up a ward to keep him out of your mind, she can. But you haven't asked her to. Why not? Solus is our best source of information about these elven gods. We can't stop them without what he knows. So you're making the decision to keep talking with him? I... Yeah. You're making a choice. Stay careful, stay worried, but don't beat yourself up about doing what you have to do. He also asked me to tell you that he regrets what happened. Hurting you, I mean. Chuckles is sentimental. 
He could burn the world down, and the thing that would make him cry is a single flower with blackened petals. I'll let you get some rest. You're gonna be fine, Rook. Uh, hey, one last thing before you go. I've been racking my brain thinking of contacts who might help us with these gods. You got any ideas? Nothing. But being a leader isn't about having all the answers yourself. It's about knowing who does. Nev has connections to a whole world that Harding and I barely know. Might be worth talking to her. Will do. Thanks, Varric. Anytime. Hey, Nev. Hi, Wisps. Yeah, they're still here, but you're here for leads. You want allies to go after the gods? I've got places to look, if we can get anywhere but Arlathan. Valara's working on it. What have you got? Let's start with the angles we know. The gods are corrupt magic personified. Who do we hire to fight that? First, the Antivan Crows. You want to fight gods with assassins? Not just any assassin. Their most feared mage killer, the demon of Virantium. Working with a feared mage killer doesn't bother you. If he doesn't have a contract out on me, it's not a problem. Well, I'm sold. Now we charm the crows. Fingers crossed. The demon got his nickname taking out blood mages and Venatori. From everything I've learned, the reputation was earned. I never uncovered his real name, and there's been fewer stories the last few years. But the crows would know. I can set a meeting with their bosses. This is great. Thanks, Nev. It's what I'm here for. You said the crows were first. What's next? A trip home. Back to Minrathus. Capital city and heart of Tevintir. An empire of mages that knows a thing or two about corrupt magic. To Vinter authority... Won't help and can't be trusted, which is why we talk to the Shadow Dragons. They're a resistance group that fights slavers, blood magic, and imperial corruption. They've got eyes and ears everywhere, including mine. If the gods enter the empire, we might get something. Besides, I owe them an update. Are they all mages? Tevinter might prize its mages, but the shadows accept anyone. We've all got a stake in the cause. I get the feeling you have a lot of dramatic stories. <laughs> One or two. So we talk to the crows in Antiva and the shadow dragons in Minrathus. I wouldn't mind checking in on my neighborhood either, if Balara's ready for us. Yeah, should check how things are going. Atreidum. 
but Velos Atreidum is, is nothing like Isatunol. Isatunol. I remember. After you touched the dagger, the prayer, the proclamation, Isatunol. What exactly are you proclaiming? They don't remember. No one remembers. We don't even know what we lost. You're not hearing a word I'm saying, are you? Uh-huh. You know you're adorable, right? Sure, whatever you think is best. <laughs> hmm? What? What's happened? I said you're adorable. You're poking fun at me. I would never poke fun. I respect you too much. Hmm. Is that so? A hundred percent. So what's Isatunol? Isatunol is an affirmation, a statement of existence, of... of being. It means, I am here. But no, not... not I. I is singular, but it isn't. We either. Hmm. We is multiple, but also separate. What? <sighs> is the tunnel is the eternal hymn that encompasses all time, all spaces. I am, we are, this and that, here, there, now, and forever. What's important is that you're happy. Happy? Happy's not it. Whole. Right, maybe. I'm certain Isatunol describes how we, the dwarves, once were. But none of the books say anything about it. None of the histories are right. If we forgot something so important, what else did we forget? I don't know. I'm sorry. I don't expect you to have an answer. Th Thanks for letting me babble, by the way. Anytime. That's what I'm here for. things, aren't they? Reflections. They distort reality, no matter what you try. Ah. And there's the trick. Control that distortion. There you have it. What is that place? If I had to guess, it's the Fade. Another part of it, I mean. Didn't Morrigan say this Alluvian could go anywhere? Didn't think that meant elsewhere in the Fade. She called it the Veer of Us. Freedom of ways. I wonder... Maybe Morrigan got this one wrong? Or misspoke? Morgan can be a little inscrutable sometimes, but she chooses her words very carefully. Some of the older texts talk about a place in the Fade where all the Alluvians meet. A crossroads where you could travel across all of Thetis in just minutes. Right. We saw something similar when we were chasing Solus. I wonder if it's the same. It is alike, and it is not. 
Either you found some way to get into the lighthouse without us seeing, or you've been here all along. Not sure which one worries me more. The wolf's fang. You carry it now. Old paths. A new journey. Through there. I will wait. Well, can't tell if that's a trap or not. But we're short on options. One way to find out. And it didn't feel dangerous, you know? Almost more... sad. Just because something's sad doesn't mean it isn't dangerous. I can think of an example or two that proves that. And we still don't know what this Alluvian's gonna do. One of us should probably stay behind in case it closes. Good point. Just tell us when you're ready to go, Rook, and then we can figure out what's going on. Hello again. Who are you? A caretaker. I go where I am needed, Dweller. Now, I am here. And where is here? The crossroads. Are we safe here, or are we gonna get swarmed by more demons? The Evanurus hunger for the crossroads. Their influence is spreading. Blight. Death. Madness. They send their minions to claim this place. The crossroads is in a time of need, Dweller. I cannot protect you. You don't have to. If you're standing against the gods, then consider us reinforcements. Can't travel this way. The gods are trying to slow it. It's down, which means we can do some real good here. Yeah, this dog seems sturdy. So, you can ferry us to the other islands. Winds await, Dweller. I'll take that as a yes. Places between. The spirits here 
were driven out. Refugees now from the gods' minions. I have summoned the guardians of the crossroads to protect them. Beware. The guardians repel all interlopers. So we're interlopers too? Fater, that's where they're breaking through. The gods are breaching the fate itself, and just for us. The in our shadow. The gods bless us. Better be ready. Blight and blood magic has sealed the way. Only their champion may open it. A champion? It dwells on this island. Challenge the champion and claim its essence. This path will open to you.
The Guardians can't hold them off for long. Oh. Is there something inside it? the champion we're looking for. Watch it. Ourselves. the essence we need. It's cold. Oh, hope we don't have to carry it for too long. Alter to a wolf, but I know who that's for. Rook 
takes credit there. Nice moves. This many Illuvians still existed. Where do they go? Time to find out. Treviso, one of the finest cities in Antiva, now living under occupation. Let's hope our Crow contact can meet us. Welcome to Antiva. You must be Rook. And you're Andaratea Cantori, of the Crows? Thea, please. Come. My associate Viago is gathering the others. We can talk business when we arrive. The documents, it's, uh, it's all there. Maravasaki Kata. My friends has come with us. The Antom soldiers have made themselves at home here. We have suffered their company for too long. The Antam reached a stalemate in their war with Tevinter. Some turned here instead. Antiva was rich, comfortable, and has no standing army to stop them. She said it well enough. It must be hard, dealing with the Antam. This occupation will not last. The Antivan crows remain. And one day, I will see a knife through every would-be tyrant's throat.
We have arrived. A casino? Welcome to the Cantori Diamond. You're the client. This is Rook. Did you want a drink? I promise not to let Viago near it. <sighs> Viago de Riva. Fifth Talon. And this is Catarina de la Morte. First Talon of the Crows. An honor. And you are... Ilario de la Morte. Her grandson. What brings you here? Right. My target is a pair of elven gods, or that's what they call themselves. They're ancient blighted mages. My detective says you have a man who brought blood mages and venatori to their knees. Lucanis. My grandson. They called him the demon of Virantium. He was the one who did those jobs. Exactly who we're after. Except Lucanis de la Morte is dead. He was killed a year ago. What I say doesn't leave this room. The body our people brought back was not my grandson. It was dressed in his clothing, but it had been altered with blood magic to half his face. My cousin is still alive? And you didn't think to tell me? His ship was attacked. We knew someone sold him out. So you kept your suspicions to yourself. But you brought it up now. Why? I've had eyes on the Venatori ever since they took my grandson from me. They were hunting your dread wolf. And what you did to his ritual threw them into disarray. They made mistakes. And now I have a location, the Oshuri, where the demon of Virantium is kept. Find this Oshuri. Free, Lucanis. You'll have your god killer. And I'll have my grandson. Come, Katarina arranged the boat. One of our mages will meet us there. A boat? Did you think the Venitori would keep a normal prison? Or that one could hold the demon of Barantium? The ocean lies beneath the sea. A fact I learned mere minutes ago. Under the... Oh, this is gonna be just great. You're not happy Katarina kept this from you. Would you be? Lucanis is family. Maybe she thought I'd act too rash if it meant saving him. And now, who can say if he's even still alive? Then. Are you coming with us? It's possible we've been watched. If all of us vanish from the dark, you play the alluring hero. I know Treviso. If we have a tale, I have a better chance of distracting their interest. Someone or something already took down the guards. I can't decide if that's good or bad. 
But we have a demon to find. Any ideas? <laughs> 